Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, we're playing a ranked game as Wukong in the jungle. And as you guys can see, we're on my smurf here. My smurf right now, I think is plat 4. Maybe, I think I was in plat 4 pro, most plat 3 recently, but I think I dropped out of them because I had to dodge a game. I was going to record a Wukong game a bit earlier, and of course, I ended up getting into match into a game where a bunch of players all wanted to go with AD champions, and I was last picked playing Wukong, and I was just like, oh, well, they're all AD. And this guy is playing Yasuo, and I looked at his stats, and yeah, he was really bad on Yasuo. Like, his stats were like 3 and 12 or something like that. So I was like, yeah, I'm just not going to play this. So, yeah, they had to dodge on my promos. But point is, we're playing in a plat game. So this is by no means high elo, but it's definitely not low elo. So this game will probably be a good, I guess, uh, standard ranked game for you guys to look at. That's not going to be super low elo stompage, but not high elo, where I have to you know stress about winning where I can actually you know talk about things and show you guys the game of Wukong the reason I'm playing Wukong in today's game on my smurf is because I haven't done a Wukong game in eight months on my channel I did my first video of him like over two years ago I did a jungle game from there did another top lane did another jungle did another top lane and I haven't done a jungle game since and I think my jungle game is actually just over a year old and my last top lane game was again eight months ago. So I haven't done a Wukong game in a while. So this is kind of just a bit of an update. And I kind of figured, you know, if I'm going to update my, you know, my favorite champion, my main champion, I may as well do it in a scenario that's going to be a bit more competitive. So you guys can get an idea of what this is going to be like if you're playing a ranked game and all that. Instead of just a normal stomp like my other videos have been. So uh, for the next few days, I'm going to do a vid some videos like this with my other champions that I haven't done in a while that I'm more known for and I'm more... I guess, skilled on, I'd say. Not sk more skilled than the average, well, probably more skilled than the average player, but I'm not going to say like I'm like the best Wukong NA by any means. That's not even close being true. But I'm probably going to do more, I guess, complicated mechanics of this champion versus like my Gangplank video I just did, right? Because I'm not very good at Gangplank. And to add on to that, they had all those changes to them that I wasn't really familiar with those. But you'll see here, we did our Gromp. We're going to do the blue buff. We got our clone level 2 because the clone allows us to avoid a few autos from the blue buff. And the damage difference is actually not as big as people think between your Q and your clone. And so this way I can avoid getting hit by the blue buff a few times, which allows me to be a lot healthier in comparison to if I was to have gotten my Q level 2. So it's just the way to go. Uh, from here I'm going to do the Wolves. I guess I'll pop my last potion as well. And yeah, I'll just do these and then walk over to my red buff. We are against a Shaco this game, so I need to be extremely careful against this guy. And of course, if I have to, I'm going to have to flash, right? I'm not going to hold that, hold that back if I need to use it because... Shaco will kill me if I hesitate whatsoever. This ward here is going to be really helpful, but what I'm going to do here actually... Well, hold on, actually. Yeah, I also took a tower shot here. I might be able to kill him, actually. Never mind, he's just going to die to TF. Very nice job of TF. I should probably run down the teams real quick. We've got a Draven AD carry, Bard support, Jax top, and of course myself playing as Wukong here. And I, of course, Swiss's fate, like I said. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk over to this wall. I'm going to get that... Oop, never mind, I suck. All right, you guys saw nothing. This ward does not exist. <laughs> normally, I don't mess that up, so that's really awkward. But normally, what I was looking to do was get that ward over the wall. But yeah, I messed that up, so sorry about that. Very awkward. Not really what I intended to do. Uh, Jax is pinging for help top lane, and I could provide him help. But if Shaco counter ganks, I'm going to die. Not to mention Riven has ignite, so yeah, I wouldn't be helping. I would just be adding insult to injury to that Jax. I wouldn't be helping him at all. But I'm going to try to get the little ones here. I have the red buff, so I don't have to auto them to kill them. And there we go. That should get that one low. Uh, it's really important to keep in mind, I keep forgetting to do this one in my recordings, but I want to mention this time because I remember to do so, is definitely make sure to take out the little raptors before the big one. If you have mediocre AoE, if you're like Shivana or Rexai or something like that, you can get away with just uh, killing the big one and having your AoE kill the little ones. But with Wukong, his Nimbus Strike isn't that good AoE-wise, so you're going to want to kill the uh, little ones first. Uh, same thing with the, go the golems or the krugs. The, go the krugs, you actually want to kill the little one first as well because the damage difference between the two isn't that big. But it's looking like someone's going on bot lane. Oh, I should also mention, I was just remembering this because I heard the uh, caster talk in the game here. Uh, we are on patch 5.14. However, because it's a ranked game, we're on the old layout. So that's why we don't have the new, eight, the, uh, new HUD or whatever. It's because it's a ranked game. And the ranked games right now are still in the old HUD. And this guy's asking for help for a second time. So I'm going to come on up. It's looking like TF's having some problems with the Yasuo, but I think he'll manage, considering uh, no sums bot lane. I mean, I can't really gank much as Wukong, that's why I just did a full clear there, because his ganks aren't that great until level 6. You need to be level 6 to make really effective ganks, and is he going to go down? He looks like he's going to trade the kill back, so this is pretty good. TF's doing a great job, actually. And the stun's going off, this is actually really good. I think she saw me. I can chase her down, though. Got him. 
All right, I had to use my flash at that last auto win, but that's totally worth it because Jax gets the assist, and we managed to. Uh oh. If he gets the stun off, this guy's dead. Oh come on, please. Got him. All right. That wasn't perfect by any means. Jax ends up going down the long process there, but we managed to pick up the kill. Uh, it was really important that Jax got that stun off, and he did, so that was really, really good. But I'm just going to push the wave in, because Riven does not have teleport, so if I push in very quickly here, which I'm trying to do without missing any minions, which is not the easiest task in the world, but yeah, if I do this, I'm going to smite these. Yeah, I'll miss one there. That's not a big deal. But yeah, because Riven has Ignite, she's going to miss a few minions on her way back to lane, and not to mention, this also gets me really ahead, because I got a lot of farm from that, so this is really good for me. So I'm 2-0, having a good start for myself. Uh, I guess he took the Rift Scuttler. Uh, normally I don't take the Rift Scuttlers early on as Wukong because I'm really squishy and I have really bad clears early on. So it's just easier for me to just not take them because if Shaco was to run into me, for example, he could stealth in and take me out and I wouldn't be able to do anything about it because Wukong's escapes aren't the greatest. It's all about juking with your clone. And juking is really, really tough against smart players, especially considering there's all their counterplay available with Wukong. And there we go, we're level 6. So I'm thinking I want to gank mid here, because there's been a lot of action mid lane. If I can snowball uh, TF here, and actually Shaco's there, so this is going to be a nice 2v2 for us. And I am a level ahead of Shaco, so I'm going to use TF as bait here. And here we go, we have the combo onto Yasuo. And I think Shaco's going to kill him, but I might be able to kill Shaco here. Come on. Oh, he, he went stealth right as I was going to kill him. That's actually so unfortunate. But we managed to get ourselves a kill onto Yasuo for TF. So not too bad for us. Could have been better, but could have been worse too. And I'll just smite these. And again, making Yasuo miss minions, not too bad. I wish I would have been able to use my ulti bot lane, because they said they had no summoners. And bot lane's been pretty eventful too. Uh, one kill here. What the hell, you want crit cloak first? Okay, pro tip right here. Never go crit cloak first on any AD carry ever at all. It sucks. Don't do it. If you have no money to get a big damage item, like a pickaxe, BF sword, etc. Uh, maybe get a long sword towards your vamp scepter to help you sustain through the lane. Or even boots or another Dorans. Basically anything besides that. That is like the worst. Now in this particular game, we have a Jax top. And he's getting a chain vest. So I think he just wants to have a really passive lane. Uh, I don't really know what it is I want to do item wise for jungle. I am leaning towards, considering it is a Jax, and I expect him to go with more of the Jax-esque build. I'm going to go with the Cinderhawk. Reason being, the Cinderhawk... Wait, actually, whose pink ward is this? Did I didn't place that, did I? No. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I didn't get an extra pink ward when I didn't need to. I want to get my health potion. So, yeah, with Wukong, you can really go either way with the Cinderhawk or with the Warrior. I prefer to go Warrior, because, you know, damage is way more fun. But considering our team composition, I need to be the tank. I need to be the initiator. I need to be the guy going in, and Cinderhawk's going to give me that. Not to mention, the new Black Cleaver gives a lot of HP. So getting that item is going to be really good with the Center Hulk. Because the combination gives me a lot of um, HP in combination. Now TF wants the blue here. Normally I don't like to give away blue buffs when I'm playing Wukong. But I'll make an exception for this guy. Because he's been playing a decent game, I guess. And upgrade that. And I'm actually going to come bottom here. If Bard can survive until I get there, we can turn this easily. And Shaco's going to be a dumbass. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What a dummy. Alright, well, he's down. <laughs> Who knows why he decided to follow Bard into tower shots. That is, you know, his own stupidity. Whatever. <laughs> his problem. And yeah, although I feel bad for Jax here because I've been kind of neglecting him and not really helping him much like I want to. I mean, I've been helping all the lanes as much as I truly can. I can't really do much more than I already have. Yeah, we should do Dragon, though. I'm going to ask TF to come and join us here. Get this sweeper down. They don't have a ward on it, so we should be fine here. Now I'm leaving that heal next to me just to ramp up, and now it's a bigger heal. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm maxing the E first, because it's a higher base damage than your Q. Your Q scales more, but your E's base is better, so early levels is better. Not to mention it is AoE, so it's better for clearing. So yeah, maxing the E first is the way to go, without a doubt. And yeah, Bard's going to back there, so that's good. And I think I can gank Yasuo here, if he pushes out. Actually, he's not in really a position to push out because he does have the wave there. And not to mention there's a pink. There's a ward here. So I'll clear the ward. And then I'll clear out the scuttler. One of the reasons that Wukong, you don't see him played a whole lot in Season 5 either is because... Uh-oh. Okay, I got it. Hey, you. What's, what's up, Malphite? And I do no damage to this guy. It's probably because I didn't go warrior off the armor pen to shred through his armor or anything like that. But still. Yo, stop spamming. 
How many pings do I need? It's not how many pings I need, it's you need to chill the fuck out, man. I'm 3 0, I'm helping out the rest of the team. I set up bot lane for success, I got myself a dragon, set up TF for success. Like, come on, chill the deal. Alright, let me do red buff here. I need to smite this so I can get myself some mana back with the Trailblazer that I've got going on. Trailblazer is definitely the way to go with Wukong, by the way. It gives you the extra sustain in the jungle that you do desperately need. I'm going to come over here and try and fight Riven now. Because although I know this guy needs help and all that, and I don't really want to help him all that much. Because top lane is probably the least important lane to gank. Dragon is down, so I'll be missing on that. I think this might be warded, actually. So I'm just going to leave. But yeah, like normally when I'm jungling, I like to gank mid and bot lane the most because they're the squishy lanes, easiest to gank. And t if you go top lane, dragon's an objective. But considering nothing's really going on in either of the other lanes, this Jax, man, he needs to like be safer. He's not playing well in the slightest, and he's blaming me for his mistakes too. <laughs> like, okay, I'm leaving top. Yeah, that's not the solution, man. The solution is to not overextend. You're dead here. Well, whatever. Riven's ulti's off. I'm just going to fight her a little bit here and then just back out just to get some free damage on her with my clone. And if she comes and fights me at her tower, I just pop my ulti and she gets CC'd for a good second or two. And I'll ski to get that, make sure I don't miss it. Yeah, uh, blame me all we want. See, in this scenario here, this is a good example of what's going to happen in a lot of my ranked games. It's going to happen in a lot of your ranked games too if you're at all like me. Listening to this guy is not the right decision. He's clearly on tilt because he's having a bad matchup in lane, and ignoring him is exactly what I to do, because not only am I distracted by commentating, which is way more important than talking to this guy, but what he wants is to be heard. Not really this, what, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, what he wants is to be heard, but at the same time, he also wants me to do what he's saying. But if he was to step back and realize the game and see the rest of the game like I have and I, I'm able to because I'm not you know tilting he'd realize I'm making the right decision right I think if he's this at this elo I think he'd be able to figure that out he's just unhappy with the way his lane's going right now if that makes sense but anyway so I got ourselves a phage we're going to be going into the black cleaver because it's an amazing item for wukong shreds their armor gives me a ton of hp gives me a ton of damage the armor shred to cool reduction it's all just amazing stats for wukong and because I have cinder hulk taking advantage of the extra hp it gives me is really really good so it's looking like Wait, where's TF? Oh, TF's here. Okay, so I guess Jax is just matching him. Uh, actually, I shouldn't be here. I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a bad spot. I shouldn't be here at all. I can't really do anything top lane. Top lane, I just die if I went up there. So I need to be taking advantages of the rest of the map because we have advantages in those places. Uh, so I'm going to gank mid here. We might be able to kill this guy. Jax, where are you going, buddy? All right, well, he was mid lane and up until the point I'm here, and then he just leaves. <laughs> uh, what's up, Shaco? All right, well, he smited me. That's weird. I'll just hold the mid lane because it's looking like Jack is trying to 1v1 Riven for who knows what reason. This guy is clearly crazy. And then we've got uh, TF helping him out, it looks like. So I'll let them deal with Jax. Or not with Jax, with Riven. Oopsies, I didn't. I thought I canceled that correctly. They did manage to kill Riven, which is good, but unfortunately Shaco's there now. Hopefully they can kill the right Shaco here. It looks like they will, but unfortunately uh, Shaco's going to kill Jax. But I'll just clear up the Raptors here. But you'll notice here I'm playing a really slow paced game, right? I'm looking to farm up, I'm looking to help the lanes, make sure they don't get snowball. I'm not really looking to push the advantage or anything like that, because I scale way better than Shaco does, right? Shaco is the one that needs to be pushing the advantage, right? He needs to be getting advantages and pushing it, because that's how he works as a champion. He's not very, he doesn't scale very well. I do. I scale amazing. 1v5 in late game is a common occurrence with Wukong. You know, I probably wouldn't survive, but I managed to at least take one down, one or two down with me, right? You know, they're squishies. So I'm just going to hold this lane here and get any last hits that TF would miss. There we go. And I think I can get this one too before TF's here because I don't think he'd get it if I didn't. And I'm going to see here. How is he doing? 6-2. Yeah, I'm going to give this guy blue buff. He's playing well. He's playing with a level head. I'll give him blue buff because I can just smite it if I need to get some mana back. In fact, I can smite anything because I'm Trailblazer and get some mana back. So I will smite this early just to keep my mana super, super high. There we go. It's all yours, buddy. And let's actually head bot lane. I need to be ganking bot lane a bit better. I haven't been doing that very well. I don't know where Corky is, but now we do. And apparently they have a ward here, so I'll go ahead and clear this. I don't know where it is, but Malphite's in. And okay, Corky's Valk is down, but we can probably just do some damage to Malphite. I don't want to ulti him, because he not only did he use his um, uh, he used his exhaust on me, so I wouldn't do much damage to him, and there we go. But not to add on to that, oh, hold on, their team's here. But yeah, he could just ult him out of it, which would be really bad. Trying to keep these two off of Draven. 
Alright, there's one. I'm gonna flash out. Actually, we can totally turn this. Oh, barely! Okay. Sorry, I thought we were leaving. That's actually totally my bad in that scenario, because I killed the Yasuo, and I was like, Hey, we got Yasuo, let's get out, because I don't think we can kill Shaco. But, TF wanted to stay and keep fighting. So I backed out, he stayed in. Bad coordination on us, but just kind of just, you know, yeah, just he landed in a bad place. Yeah, it was just a bad coincidence that I wanted to leave, he didn't want to leave, right? You know, there's no way about really communicating it, just gotta, you know, work off of each other's, uh, I guess, actions and all that. And so I didn't really predict his actions correctly, so he ended up dying because of it, but all good. All good in the hood. I'm 5-1. I'm really, really strong. So late game, even though it looks like Corky and Shaco might be slight issues, Yasuo is really shut down. Riven's not really that farmed, so I don't really consider her much of an issue. Uh, did they take out my pink ward? They did. I should have bought a pink ward. Whoopsies. But uh, if I can just farm to level 11 here, I will get myself uh, a really big power spike with my ultimate upgrade. And yeah, you'll notice there I wasn't really focusing Corky with my ult. That's because I knew that I could pop him really easily. But then from there, you know, then what? Whereas the other two were layered on top of each other. So for maximum damage output in the entire team fight, it was more important for me to take out the two of them. And actually, Jax is top lane here. Uh, and they just took Dragon. So we're going to trade off the Dragon for top lane turret. Which in my opinion is a pretty decent trade. Considering they have way better, uh, I guess, fighting right now compared to us. So it just makes sense to let them have that and take, the, take advantage of our split push advantage. So we'll just let Jax do that. And I'll just smite this, take these out, maybe get level 11? Nah, not quite. Alright, what's Jax building? Looks like he's... I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, my team's getting dope ball lane. If I can save Draven here, that'd be really good. TF does not have ulti, so he can't help. But I think we can save Draven, because I do think they're going to dive him here. And yep, Riven's diving, this is really good. So Draven's going to get this one here, I think. Never mind, looks like I will. I'm going to focus Corky here, because I don't want Draven to die. And let's see here. You'll notice I used my Q right before my E for maximum damage up, but Draven's gonna pick up the last one there. Very nice turn by us. And now we can take out these minions here. And we get this bottom turret. So from here we have three kills, we have the members, we can actually push the advantage because we're not gonna lose anything in mid or top lane. Shaco's messing around top lane, who knows what he's doing, he's not gonna accomplish anything though. So we will manage to pick up this bottom lane turret for ourselves. But as you can see though, with this build with Cinderhawk, although I don't really like Cinderhawk as much as Warrior with the pure damage output, it's doing us really good this game, because Shaco's, or not Shaco's, Jax's build's freaking weird. I mean, he's going somewhat tanky, but it's a weird tanky. Like, Jax isn't supposed to build Sunfire. It just doesn't really make sense for his kit. So, we're filling that void of uh, tankiness that our team needs. And that, team, that initiation, like, Jax is much, isn't much of an initiator. He's the kind of guy that just kind of shows up on the side, takes a few people out, and he needs to back the fuck off. Alright, he got out, good. But yeah, like, he just needs to... We go on the side and assassinate people while they're not looking. I'm the guy who's supposed to soak up the damage and you know, do a lot of damage to their team and do all that AoE stuff. I think you guys kind of get what I'm going at. I'm just kind of finding the, the wrong words to describe it. But <laughs> we're going to pick up our, our Black Cleaver here, which is going to be really good. And we're also going to look towards getting ourselves, I think. I think a Ninja Tab would be really wise this game because Corky's magic damage is like literally the only magic damage they have. So Ninja Tabby seems like a really wise choice. Not to mention, you know, movement speed is really important in the jungle. So I'll grab that. And from here. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just grab myself some more HP. Or, actually, I'll go Hydra. Fuck it. You know what? It's a Smurf game. I'm I'm pretty fed. I need to do some damage, and I'm already tanky as is. Fuck it. Let's do it. And I'll grab some wards as well. So it's looking like my team is getting into a fight here. Malphite's gonna ulti TF. TF's like, trying to escape, but he's not doing a very good job of it. But it's not much more he can really do as TF. He doesn't have much mobility in his kit. Draven's just farming top lane, so. I don't think we can really do much to help out here, but if I do go for this turret, which is still at half HP, I can clear the wave pretty easily with my Trailblazer and my Nimbus Strike. Not to mention, I have my ultimate if they to try to dive me or something like that, so I'll be in a really good spot. But you can see the damage I do to that. That's pretty good. I'm walking mid lane, because mid lane looks like it's under more threat than bot lane. Bot lane tier 1 isn't that big of a deal compared to this. And yeah, I think they saw my clone. I was hoping to sneak up and get some free damage off, but... That's okay. I don't really mind. So yeah, we're gonna lose that turret, but at least I saved this turret. And this turret's probably more important, so... I'll smite the wave there, clear that out. And TF 6 and 4, he's still doing alright. But he's not doing great farm-wise. But you'll see, I'm much more of a farm-focused Wukong player when I'm jungling him. And versus... Uh, I guess you could say, like... Power ganking, because ganking doesn't really do that much with Wukong unless you have your ult. But I'm gonna give this guy blue buff here. And there you go, it's all yours. And Riven's mid lane again, so let's go ahead and kill her. 
Where are you gonna go, Riven? I'm just gonna ulti these two. You can see the damage I'm doing to Riven. It's nuts. There we go. Alright, double kill for me. What's up, Malphite? What's up, buddy? Okay, well, let's just go ahead and push out mid lane here, because we do have two kills. We have a huge advantage over these guys. So we can just go ahead and take out this tower without really any sort of retaliation from their team. Because all they have is Malphite. He's not really exactly a threat to us right now. All he's got going for him is his ultimate. The rest of his kit doesn't do much damage. And I was hoping to wrestle with my Q, but I don't think he's going to give me that opportunity. So I'll choose on the turret instead. And yeah, of course we could dive him, but I don't want to be the one to tank it. But I guess we'll do it anyways, because we got the stun on him, and that's going to be enough. And I'm just going to clone here, because all doesn't do anything. At least I can body block a few things from Quirky with my clone. So I avoided some damage, at least. I'm too low to really get him to melee range here to hit that turret. And, ooh, we got a catch here on Quirky. We can totally do this. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm just going to go a completely awkward direction, because they won't expect this. Alright. Now, a quick little thing I'm going to do here is going to smite the wolves. It's going to scout out their jungle. We almost have the ward, so I got vision of their jungler if they come in there. And I'm going to come over here and try and save my team. And actually, we can totally do this. If Jax and me do this. Jax, buddy. Jax. He missed the stun. Well, I'll just kill her anyways. Alright, well, Jax is tanking, so I think as long as he survives... If he gets the stun on Malphite, yeah, this guy's done. Oh, okay, at least my Sunfire or minion damage got him. I'm not sure which one it was, but we got him, so... Moral of the story, we're okay. <laughs> this game is so crazy, dude. Like, I'm not even playing well mechanically, but I'm still managing to do what needs to be done and get all these kills for my team, which is perfect. And there we go, got ourselves a turret. And I'm gonna back off here. I don't know how healthy... Uh-oh. Alright, time to storm the beaches, boys. Smiting that for some mana back, and also... They'll never expect this. <laughs> Peace out, broski. Oh, yeah, magical journey. Dude, they didn't even see it coming. That's almost always the best thing to do. Almost always. I can't guarantee it, but almost always the best thing to do is literally walk directly into them when you have your clone activated to your stealth. They'll never expect you to walk directly into them. They'll always expect you to go the casual way, like the smart way, the normally the best way to go. But if you go the worst way... They won't expect it, and they won't look there. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> so we got ourselves our second dragon. Great job to my team, and holy crap, I'm 11-1. What the fuck? I'm gonna go over here, and holy shit, their ward coverage is so good, man. My team's playing great. Aside from Jax, who's starting to pick it up now because I've been babysitting him a little bit. Showing up where he is and helping him out. TF's playing great. Draven's kind of behind, but he's doing alright, I guess. But yeah, we're, we're doing alright this game. We're doing enough to win the game, I think. We got ourselves a TM at now. We almost have our Hydra. Once you go Hydra, I think I'm gonna go... Bit more tank stats, maybe a last whisper. Who knows? We'll find out. It depends on what our team needs. And hey, Riven, what's up? I'm just gonna ulti here because I think I can take her on. See, they didn't expect it. The problem is, though, I'm dead because I was in the middle of their team. That was really dumb by me. I shouldn't have been fighting Riven. Sorry, shouldn't have fought Riven. And it looks like my team is going to crumble him without me, I think. But hopefully they can at least hold the turret. Malphite's going to go down, so there's one thing for us. Yeah, Jax died again, apparently. The Bard ult's going to completely whiff. But yeah, I was really getting cocky there. I was thinking, yeah, fuck this Riven. She's 5, or she was 5-4 at the time, or 4-5, or something like that. I don't really know. Did she actually kill me? No, she didn't. So I guess she was 5-5. Five, five. And I was like 11-1. I was like, yeah, fuck this guy. I can take him on. Easy peasy. And while that's true... I didn't account for the fact that their team was all right there until I already popped my ultimate, and I was just like, oh, shit, I probably shouldn't have done that. But on the bright side of things, they're all super low, and I have a little magical thing called stealth, so I can pick them off if they do separate, and they won't even see it coming. Eh? Because stealth. It's perfect. Looks like they're pushing top lane now. I'm going to go ahead and just try and clear this out. Don't miss Siege. All right, there we go. Cleared that all out. And Quirky's taking blue buff. I could totally kill him while he's doing that, because while he's doing it, it's going to take him some time, I think. And I think I could pick some people off. I might catch some people recalling or something like that. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. No, it's too late. 
I was like a slivers too late. All right, well, I got the wolves, so that's good. Malphite's just randomly here, so we can probably pick him off, me and Bard. Me, Mr. Bard, just placed a ward. All right, well, Bard's gonna steal that from me, but that's okay. I... Oh, here we go. We can probably just kill this guy, slowly but surely. Draven got exhausted, but I'm not too concerned. Oh, there we go, there's the stun, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, my ulti is not going off because I got feared. What the fuck? Okay, whatever, let's just do this. <laughs> That was super awkward. I got feared and then my ulti went off super delayed when I wasn't even hitting my ultimate. That was like super awkward. I don't know why my ulti went off when I wasn't even pressing it. I guess it just delays it when I'm like when I press it when I was feared instead of preventing me from doing it, if that makes sense. But either way, I managed to kill Malphite. They managed to chunk their team out a little bit. Uh, he's gonna go on me, but there's not he's not gonna get much done. I just gotta stay back though, because I'm too low to really dive in with all my clone available. But once my clone is up again, in two seconds here, I can go in and then just clone back out immediately. Just like this. But yeah, I just need to run though. I can't fight them. But I know what's going to happen here is, yeah. Either that was going to happen or Shaco was going to stealth and just kill me. So, yeah. I should have used my ulti. Jax, just... Actually, I'm not going to say anything. I was going to tell him to calm down, but I've now realized that telling him to calm down was not help, because I know personally if I was upset and having someone tell me to calm down, I wouldn't really calm down. <laughs> so, yeah, just not talking to him, not giving anything to talk about would probably be the best idea here. So, yeah, we're, we're sort of falling off from where we were, but I think they are on Baron. Bard, can he be the... Oh, it was at 12 HP for a split second there. That's kind of sucks, but I still think we'll be okay. I think we'll manage. No, don't surrender. This guy needs to cool it. Cool your jets, man. In fact, I'm just going to mute him. He's not saying anything productive towards the game. Now, while they have Baron, I do believe that if we play this correctly, we can actually be totally fine. And to kind of clarify what that is playing correctly, that this pretty much means just clear waves, ward our jungle so we don't get caught, they don't snowball anything, and just try to pick them off. Like, right now, Malphite's bottom, Yasuo's top. If we can pick them off so they don't have the five-man advantage, right? Because if they have five-man versus our five-man, they're going to win. But if they have 5v4 and we, they have Baron, we have five people, we're totally fine still. You know what I mean? It's like, we don't really need to worry about the Baron once it's 24 people. But if it's five, then we have to be worried. So I'm thinking from here, we'll clear out any vision on Dragon because it is up in a minute or so here. Yeah, a minute and 12 seconds, so I'll grab that. And it looks like they are pretty much grouped up for that, so that just kind of sucks for us. But apparently a ward saw me because I got this buff going on now, it's a little bit late. Here we go, there's the ward. Got it. TF looks like he's getting picked off, but I think he's gonna get out. At least I hope so. Now, if I can catch out someone from on the side, I'll be doing a great... I get, I'd be doing a great thing for my team, but... It's not looking like I'm gonna pick... Look, it's not looking like I'm gonna pick anyone off. Shaco's got 105 CS. Yeah, I'm way ahead of this Shaco. Somehow he's still got a level advantage on me, though, which is really strange. I guess it's because he's got A assists, where I only got four, but I got kills, so I don't know, man. It's weird. They found my pink ward. Damn it. Yeah, we just gotta wait out the Baron. I don't think they're gonna group for it properly because they have Shaco, and Shaco doesn't really do well grouping. They want to split, but split doesn't really work that well with Baron in comparison to, um, I guess, team fighters or something like that. But their Baron's still on, so we're gonna have to sac f sacrifice the dragon. Alright, someone's spam pinging. Jax is gonna take my red. I wish I could say no. He's 08 and taking my red. The joy, the joy that throws through that flows through my veins. All right, well, whatever. I guess what we'll do for now. Yeah, they have dragon now. That's fine. I guess I'll just farm raptors because I can't really do anything else right now. It looks like their team's trying to goon squad us. So we need to split off because Malphite alt. It's gonna do that. There's the combo. I'm gonna get in here and just ulti and get a nice big AOE on these guys. And actually, Bard kind of screwed me there because my ulti continues while I'm in that stasis. So that didn't help me. Bard, don't ult me, please. Yeah, it... Yeah, it continues to... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, like, my ulti goes for four seconds. And it continued throughout the time that I was in stasis, but it doesn't do any damage. So, we might just lose this game flat out. <laughs> oh man, just my luck. There's like not much I could really do when teammates get caught like that. They need to split off so that Malphite ulti doesn't hit more than one person, but they didn't quite do that. I'm gonna pick up home guards here though, because it looks like they are diving for Draven. Or 
going for something here. There's five seconds on me. If I can show up in that last five seconds while they're under turret hits, we might be okay. Gotta kill Yasuo. Okay, Yasuo's down. Our base is saved, it looks like, although it's very, very weak. Holy crap, though, man, this game. This, is, this should not be that hard. Yeah, what do you think you're doing, Shaco? Kill him. Alright, well, we got him. I'm gonna go bot lane here and try and deal with this Corky. Bard's distracting him, but it looks like Corky's just escaping, actually. Instead of going for the turret, which is not really what I wanted. I was hoping he would go for the turret so we can kill him, but I guess that's not gonna happen. But Bard's gonna get the stun off, nonetheless. And it looks like Corky's gonna go for the kill. Can we get the stun off? There we go, we got him. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Alright, so... We kinda have to, I kinda need to bodyguard the base, though, because all it takes is Riven or someone just walking up and hitting it a few times, and it's gone, so... I'm gonna have to stand in base, I guess, for the time being, until our hips back up. But I'll pick up the farm here. And see what we can do. I guess I'll give TF blue buff, but we still gotta guard the base, really. And I think Malphite's gonna try and kill Draven here, which I gotta prevent. I'm also going to smite the wolves here because although I don't normally smite my own wolves compared to theirs, smite my own wolves is a good idea in this case, so that way if they try to sneak through the jungle, we will scout them out with that wolf spirit. And I almost have my randoms, which will be really helpful. I still understand how this, this uh, shake goes level 16. I think it's because of the advantage in turrets and stuff they have, honestly, because I think I've played a much better game than this guy has. I mean, my score is better. I've actually upgraded my trinket, for crying out loud. I mean, the list goes on of things I've done better than this guy, but... <sighs> he still has the level advantage because of the turrets and I guess the uh, global gold and all that. But I got myself a Randuins now. And I have home guards so I can book it on over here. Riven is actually not mid, so we should team fight here. So if I can get onto their back line as Wukong, I think we'll be okay. So yeah, Riven's not here. But I also would really like level 16 because level 16 would provide me with a bonus damage to my ultimate. There's some nice damage just going off there on the side on Riven. And yeah, TF's got good wave clear, so if we keep TF safe, we'll be okay. Yeah, we just gotta kind of hold out here until the right opportunity presents itself. And let our team poke at them, because TF's got pretty good poke, pretty good wave clear. Not group up like we just were, because Malphite could take advantage of that. And we should be okay. I'm gonna smite- oops, I did not mean to smite the one next to us, I meant to smite the big one. Whatever, we still get it, no problem. But yeah, it needs to be me initiating the fight, if not them. And I'd prefer to initiate it if I can get onto both Yasuo and Corky at the same time, but I don't see that ever happening. Actually. Oh my god, I got feared. Come on, please, 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 what the fuck? Alright, well I managed to get my ulti off. We managed to kill one person. I'm just gonna walk away with- Oh, never mind, I'm gonna die. I we wanted my clone to go off, but my clone wasn't, on, wasn't available in time. Alright, well this looks like... TF's gonna survive here. Shaco's really low. If Jackson get on him, get on him, kill him. What are you doing? There you go. All right. Well, it's a one. It's a two v one. Malphite's on one left, so not bad. Holy shit, the fears, dude. I got like fear spam like two or three times in that TF ulti. Holy shit. All right. We'll manage to kill Malphite, so we still have one guy left. But yeah, holy crap. I should have expected that. I really should have. Good Shaco players will place boxes around their team so that you can't initiate on them. But still, that is so fucking irritating, man, because I went in and plushed R, and I, it took me forever. And then went off, it was, like, not really near them at all, so I had to flash into their team. Like, damn, that is obnoxious. I wish I had Mercury Chats or something like that, or a way to avoid that, but I, I mean, I could get QSS, but that's just a little bit strange. I'm thinking it makes most sense for now is to just get um, maybe Last Whisper, actually. Mm, actually, they only have one armor stack in person, and that's Malphite, so maybe not. Yeah, my options are thin. I'm gonna go with GA, I think, so I can dive into their team without any sort of hesitation, I guess. So yeah, I'll get that next. But yeah, this game's gotten really difficult for really no reason besides just mistakes from our team. Not to mention their Shaco boxes make initiating on their team extremely challenging. Now many wards here. Okay. I'm gonna get this for the vision buff so I can see if their team sees me. Yeah, I don't think they're on Baron. Oop. Are they? Actually, they're totally on Baron. They're actually in this brush. 
I could initiate on them, and this guy's going tanky now. Okay, that's not typical for a Shaco. But if they start the Baron and they're on the pit, we'll be in a really good spot. And actually, he's kind of caught. Try to avoid the knockup. I failed to not avoid the knockup, but I can get onto the, the Yasuo here. And I'm actually just going to destroy him with my ult. And I'm just going to leave because I can't do anything from here. I need my clone back up. Alright, I'll just kill this guy. I'm trying to avoid dying here because I know if I die, my GA is not going to pop because I don't have GA yet. But it looks like TF's actually going to clean up. We can't do Baron, can we? Guys, no, this is this is bad. No, I can't get anywhere near the Baron. All right, well, I mean, I guess if I don't tank it, it's fine. But damn, this is so dangerous. All right, well, we got it. That was insane. All right, let's get mid lane here. We there's no one's no one's up. Don't base now. If you're gonna base, we should have done it earlier. Oh my god, this team. <laughs> They're making so many mistakes. They're just so silly to me, but. We're still somehow in this. I don't believe it. So we have no Nexus turrets whatsoever. Riven's probably going to have Gome Guards and try and kill us here. But if we manage to get this base turret, it'll all be worth it. In fact, we can probably get an inhibitor. They're up now, but we are healthy enough that we can fight them off if need be. Yes, we got ourselves an inhibitor. Oh my god, I want that turret. I want that turret so bad. Please give me the turret. Got the turret. Okay, everything after this is worth it. I'm just going to ult it to the speed up and get away. Yo, run, run, run. Don't be, don't be man. Don't be... Don't be, don't be, okay, well he's actually killing them, so, no, Malphite, please, run, oh god, I'm probably dead, actually, yes, okay, I got to the Gromp, this isn't so bad, Bard, save me, go, go over the wall, yes, magical journey, yes, <laughs> run your penis off, go crazy, run, holy shit, okay, empowered recall, what the fuck, dude, I survived, alright, they have no Yasuo, but we have no Jax, TF's up in 15 seconds, so if we can wait till TF's up, I think we'll be fine, I'm going to get myself Elixir of Iron to avoid the tenacity, and we have to fight these guys. I have 30 seconds of my ult, which is I really need, but if Corky's just going to lead the lead the way like that, he's going to take some free damage. Malphite's going in way premature. Their team is not ready for that, so he's going to miss out on a lot. We can actually kill Malphite here. He's all alone. There we go. We got him. We chase up their team. TF's got the gold card on Corky. Corky looks like he's definitely going down. That is awesome. Magical journey. Let's go. Can we get the Shaco? I seriously doubt we can kill the Shaco, to be honest with you, because he is, of course, invisible, but... It is possible. We have the gold card on him. We have myself going on Nimbus Strike. All the damages. The one with the GA is him. Come on, auto him. I'm trying to avoid the other one because it's going to do damage when it explodes. Where'd he go? Bastard. I don't know where he went. Oh, found him. He's right here. I'm just going to chase this guy down. I hate the goddamn shit. Go. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I, I seriously doubt we're going to get him, but... I think I know where he went. I'm hoping I'm going to run right into him right now. Oh, he found him. Cancel that recall. Kill him. Alright, we got him. Fuck yes. <laughs> okay. Actually, I shouldn't base. I have no reason to base. Holy shit, though. I really shouldn't have chased him. That was a massive mistake. I wasted so much time, but I still really wanted to do it. At this point, I seriously thought we we're going to lose. I have this gut instinct we're going to win, but maybe I'll be wrong. But Yasuo looks to... Never mind. I thought he was all alone. He is not. But we do have his tornado down. Bard's going in. I'm going in after him. And this was actually a terrible idea. I'm going to take the magical journey out while I'm still spinning. <laughs> yeah, I wasted my ulti completely, though. Can we kill the Yasuo, please? We got him. Alright, let's kill Malphite. Malphite's out of there. Alright, Riven next. Got Riven. Nice. Okay, that's pretty much game. Holy shit, man. I'm not going to say I hard carried that game because I definitely made a lot of mistakes in the later part of the game that led to us making mistakes as a team. But holy shit, man. I finished the damn look good looking score. I'm getting the inhibitor here because I want to add insult to injury. Take all their stuff. Because, <laughs> yeah, we've won. This game's over. Yes, yeah, he's down. Yeah, get out of here, Corky. You're nothing but just a dude in an airplane. GG. Holy shit. Hopefully you guys like that game, because I sure as hell had a wild ride with that. I went from thinking this game was a stop because my score was so good, to then thinking, no, we're going to lose, my team's too heavy, to then finding the victory. So hopefully you guys like that. Hopefully you learned how I play Wukong. That was a very, very, I don't know, score-wise, it's a, I wouldn't say a standard game for me, but the way I, like, kind of went about things was pretty standard, although I made some mechanical errors I normally wouldn't. 
I'm a little bit rusty with Wukong. I haven't been playing him a whole lot, so I apologize for that. But of course, if you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like rating and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.